Hi, this is Dr. Rob Lindsay, and I'm here today with diabetes treatment success number four. It's not just your pancreas. <clears throat> now, the pancreas is not the only organ that controls blood sugar. Many diabetics think that the pancreas is the sole organ involved with their diabetes because of insulin. Remember that insulin is inflammatory. It actually causes inflammation. <clears throat> now, the pancreas does make insulin, but it's not the only organ in your body that is vital in regards to your diabetes. Your thyroid, your liver, and your adrenal glands are the big players in controlling your blood sugar. Your thyroid will be addressed in future uh, secrets, so let's address your liver now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your liver stores glucose in a form called glycogen. Now, your liver has the ability to manufacture glycogen so that it's available later when you need it. Your liver can malfunction due to poor diet, excess alcohol, medications, and a variety of other things like infections. Now, liver mal uh, malfunction can elevate your blood sugar and cause you to develop type 2 diabetes. The liver can be tested via blood work. And if your doctor isn't testing you via functional or optimal levels, as we addressed in our first secret, you will most likely continue to get worse. Your liver is a key component in diabetes and it needs to be checked. Many patients on insulin develop a condition called insulin resistance, which means that all of the cells of your body are ignoring the, uh, to the signal that insulin is attempting to give to them. That signal is to get sugar out of the bloodstream and store it into the tissues. Giving you more insulin when you have insulin resistance only makes you more inflamed, which can result in a heart attack or a stroke. The next uh, very important organs are the adrenal glands. Not many diabetics know that the adrenal glands are the organs that help regulate your blood sugar. The adrenal glands produce a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol frees up glycogen, the storage form of glucose, and Cortisol will also make you insulin resistant. When you're insulin resistant, insulin piles up outside the cells in your bloodstream and blood sugar piles up inside your cells outside the bloodstream. If that goes on for very long, you're going to have high blood sugar. Your hemoglobin A1C is going to be high, your triglycerides will be high, and you will get labeled with prediabetes or metabolic syndrome or type 2 diabetes. If your MD hasn't looked at your adrenal glands, then they're not digging deep enough. And if you're making too much cortisol or excessive cortisol, you're very quickly going to become insulin resistant. And now the next question for the good health de detective doctor is, why? Why are you making excess cortisol? Well, it could be because of a hidden infection. It could be just because of stress. It could be because of food sensitivity. All of those things can be tested. Have they been? And my point is, those are the things that could be causing your type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes. So, the secret today, our secret number four about type 2 diabetes is that the pancreas is by no means the only organ involved in regulating the levels of your blood sugar. Your liver and your adrenal glands both must be examined and tested as well as the pancreas in order to get to the root of your particular type 2 diabetes. Don't suffer any longer, you guys. Give us a call at the office. I'm sure that we can help you. I'll see you on the next uh, success secret.